hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be decorating my coffee bar and my dining area for fall i also want to share with you a few items i picked up recently for the coffee bar if you enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already but before we get into the video i wanted to say a big thank you to javi for collaborating with me on this part of the video Javi reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try their coffee concentrate, and I'm so glad that I did. Javi is 100% organic. It's made with 100% Arabica beans and the purest of water, also no sugar added. I have been having this for the past couple, two, three weeks, um, and I've been having it as an iced coffee but you can also have it as a hot coffee. But on this specific day, it was so hot, I needed my iced coffee to get me through the decorating. And as you can see, it's super easy, guys. You just need a glass, a mug, whatever you wanna drink out of, some water and your favorite creamer or your favorite milk. That's it. No appliances needed, no coffee maker needed, no Keurig. You can even take this on the go if you want. So that is one of the pluses as well as all the other great things I told you about the concentrate. Here I am having it with my pumpkin spice creamer that I've been obsessed with lately. Javi also gave me a discount code for you guys. So I'm gonna link all that information below. If you decide on trying it, you can click on that link for a 20% discount. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be decorating my dining area that includes the coffee bar, my dining table, and we're also going to do the rods um, on the wall over here. I also did a kitchen decorate with me video and a living room decorate with me video. So if you guys haven't seen those yet, I will link them below in the description box and you guys can check them out. But yeah, so today it's my favorite video because I love to decorate this area and I think you guys like it too because it's probably one of my most viewed videos are, is for my coffee bar. So anyway, I'm going to first, let me not forget, insert um, some footage of me patching up this wall over here. Um, they came to replace this whole door here that leads to my balcony, which I'm very grateful for, but they had to break a little bit of this. I saw my kitchen decorate with me video. I kind of had to do the same thing over there. Um, yeah, so go check out that video. I'm not gonna get into detail. So I'm gonna show you some footage of that video um, where I did this over here. Also, it is Labor Day weekend and it is extremely hot today and humid. So as much as I'm trying to channel in all the fall vibes, yeah, it's hot. So if you can't tell by my hair, the humidity is killing me right now. <laughs> so I'm about to throw this hair up in a clip before I start decorating. And as I usually do, I like to just give you a quick overview of what I'm working with. So a lot of this is things that I've already had. If you have seen my last year's uh, Decorate With Me coffee bar, you can see that it's a lot of things that I already had. Um, but I do want to share with you some new things I picked up. Guys, Target Dollar Spot can just take my paycheck because, oh my goodness, I, I, it's just, it's too much. They have such awesome, awesome things. So first of all, I guess, let me start with this. I'm sure you guys have seen this. A lot of YouTubers have been hauling this. I absolutely love this. It's so cute. Um, and it goes nicely with my thrifted bottle that I got last year. I think those are the only two like amber items that I have. This is also from the Target dollar spot. I plan on putting my apples in here. Last year I decorated with apples as well. Here they are. Um, this I shared with you guys. And this is also from the Target dollar spot. I love this. Wait till you see what I plan on doing with that. 
this adorable oh my gosh guys excuse my nails this little mini mug it's so mini but it's adorable this was also from the target dollar spot now just for reference size reference you could tell this is a regular size mug that's the mini one but guys guys yes i have a problem i have a problem these are from the target these are from target as well these were five dollars <sighs> how could i not how can i not how cute i got two of them oh my gosh guys how adorable um so yeah i think those were the only new items that i had not shared with you guys but everything else i've had as you can see i have a lot of things in ziploc bags fillers garland um here's my signage that's my mess over there <laughs> could disregard that and then these are the pumpkins i'm going to be using also from last year and then i'm not sure if i'm going to do a tear tray or not yet so thinking about it not sure but okay now let's get into it this sign has to be one of my favorites that i have for fall and i'm going to be placing it on the top shelf i like to start off with the larger items that i'm going to be putting on the shelves so if you guys saw one of my hauls i did have in mind another picture frame that i got at hobby lobby but that went to the living room and i put this one here instead the thankful sign was a find from Michaels on clearance. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the way this came out. It took me quite a bit. You guys who are always here know that I don't know exactly where everything is going to go before I start filming. I have an idea in my head, but... As I decorate everything, it just starts changing up and you're gonna see that here. Um, but like I mentioned, I had another thought when I had bought that picture frame from Hobby Lobby, but I like it much better in the living room. If you haven't seen my living room decorate with me video, I will link it below so you can check that one out as well as my kitchen decorate video. And this turkey is also one of my favorite items that I have um, for the fall as well. He was a Marshall's find uh, a couple years ago. This top shelf was really challenging. I don't know why I was having such a hard time, but I did spend quite quite a while trying to figure out how I wanted this corner. And I think my issue was I felt like it it needed more height. So I I left it alone for now and I worked on the other side. And all I'm doing is putting some faux florals from Dollar Tree in this jar. I just went through my bin. I have a bin full of florals. Um, so I just picked those out and that came out nice. I was happy with that side of the shelf, but this side I was struggling. I felt like I just, I don't know what it was. And ultimately I liked the way it turned out at the end, but you guys have to let me know. I appreciate any opinions um or advice and let me know i mean i'm showing you here different things that i moved around so that way you guys can tell me if i should move things around leave it as is um yeah so if you guys can comment below give me your thoughts and opinions because i think height was missing on this right 
top shelf <laughs> so i'm not done with it yet i do change it up at the end but you guys have to let me know what you think if you try to get some sleep i don't know what it is about birds but i find them to be adorable i don't typically decorate with animals but i find that birds i don't mind <laughs> Especially if they're this cute. I found that bird. Um, I think that was a um, Walmart find last year. But I think they still have them this year. Um, but here I am back in this corner. Because every time I would look. Um, step back and look at everything. This corner was really bugging me. So as you can see. I did change the pumpkin. This pumpkin I had it over in my living room shelf. So I just swapped the pumpkins. And I actually like it a lot better this way. And then I brought back my amber jar because I really wanted to uh, balance out the other side with the amber jar on the top left. So I wanted this amber jar on this side, but I didn't have like the right floral stems for that jar because it's so long. So I just put temporarily these little um, uh, stems that I bought from Hobby Lobby, but that might change. But um, so I'm done with the shelves, <laughs> guys. I have this on a time lapse because otherwise this video would have been an hour long. I spent quite a few hours on these shelves, believe it or not. Well, maybe not a few hours. Definitely maybe an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> so we're moving down to the coffee station. And this I am very happy with the way it came out as you can see i used the basket from the target dollar spot and i thought i was going to put my k-cups but they fall through the holes so i ended up putting my disposable cups and it looks perfect worked out perfectly and this is a little mini magnet sign that i bought from a small etsy shop i will link her information below and as you can see, my brand new mugs are hanging there. I love them. My daughter loves them as well. We've already used them a couple times for our coffee. And then I'm just going to keep the buffet table simple with the items that we use to make our coffee, to prepare our coffee. And of course, I had to put some candy corn. I personally like candy corn. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. And then it gives it a little festive decor as well and this coffee bar sign was a hobby lobby find from last year i'm just gonna fill this little jar with some more candy it didn't fill it up all the way so i gotta go get more but this is the way it turned out we're gonna move on over to the rods and at the end i will show you an overview of how the coffee bar turned out <music> So I pretty much keep most of the items here um, from season to season the same as far as the cutting boards and this little basket um, and the conversion little sign that I've all had already um, from the spring and summer. But I do like to add in seasonal items to the rods like the towels and maybe like another you know seasonal items so here would be the pumpkin and these eucalyptus stems i really love the color and i really wanted to use them here in this basket but after seeing it all together i don't i don't really like it i think it's too dark so i switched it back to the green ones i think i like the green ones better you guys let me know below do you like the green stems better i think they look better <laughs> But you guys let me know. And then I thought I was going to use that pumpkin sign from Walmart that I bought last year. But I took it off and I just put this cutting board. And then this sign was a Dollar General sign from last year. And all I did was actually Mod Podge this paper onto it. I didn't want to decorate with the verbiage showing. So I just flipped the sign over and put this paper on it and i really like the way it came out so yeah that's an easy easy diy and then i hauled this watering can 
you guys saw this in one of my hauls and I just added these uh, stems that I had from Dollar Tree from last year um, I didn't have anything else on hand that would go on that would you know fit that space so for now those pumpkin stems will stay if I find other stems that I like better I'll switch it up but for now this is how it turned out All right guys, so now moving on to the table, this is the last area we're going to decorate. I'm using my new wooden tray that was gifted to me uh, by my sister who lives in Florida. Thank you so much, Sassy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to style it a few different ways. You guys let me know what do you think? What are your opinions? Ideally, I think a candle would look beautiful on this tray, but my table is directly underneath a ceiling fan and currently we have that fan going all day long because it's still hot so a candle doesn't really make sense right now but I think I'll definitely be putting one soon and then this vase is a target dollar spot find I just put some faux wheat stems that I had in my bin and then you'll see that I'm going to put a couple of pumpkins and then just switch up a couple items here and there things that I had on hand from last year and you guys let me know what you think and what um, your opinions are what I should leave or what I should take out So I left it this way for now. I like it, but I definitely think I will be switching it up soon. So stay tuned for an apartment home tour. But we are coming to the end of the video, guys. Let me know your opinions, your comments. And um, yeah, I appreciate any advice that you may have on anything that I did. I'm pretty happy with this the way it came out. But I am going to help myself to a second iced coffee for the day. And since we are all decorated, I am going to be pouring it into this adorable fall themed tumbler that I bought off of Etsy. And now I'm going to show you the overview. Don't forget guys to check out Javi. Use the link below so you can get your discount. Let me know if you like the coffee because I know I do. But here we go, this is the way it came out. I love, I love, love the way this came out. I am happy with it. I probably won't touch the shelves. I've lived with them for a few days now. And yeah, I'm pretty happy at this point <laughs> with my coffee bar. Um, but thank you so much guys for sticking around and commenting. For those of you coming back, thank you for coming back all the time and showing your support. I really do appreciate it. Again, I'm gonna link my previous fall decorate with me videos below. Go check them out, go show them some love and stay tuned because I have more fall content coming, including possibly doing Vlogtober. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on the bell notification so you are always notified when a video goes up. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.